Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to Saturday Coding Challenge. In case you're looking for the challenge itself, it's in the next video, but here is a big announcement regarding the future of Saturday Coding Challenges. Now, one thing that I've learned in my life is if you're running a race, there should be an end goal. There should be a point where you can consider that, yes, the race is over. Without that, you will find yourself just running around with no goals, no motivation. So I want to discuss this thing with all of you. Let's roll the intro first. Many times I have seen the students that they try to learn a technology or maybe they try to learn a subject without the end goal. There should always be an end goal. If you want to learn a guitar, there should be an end goal that I want to play in this band or I want to perform for this particular audience. There should always be a goal. And same goes for programming as well. If you want to learn something, there should be an end goal. Throughout my life, I have never learned anything without having an end goal. Now, starting this Saturday Coding Challenge should also have an end goal. What we want to achieve, what is our goal, what are our target students and how I want to serve all of you. With this Saturday Coding Challenge, my biggest motivation and my end goal is to serve the audience and make them ready for the upcoming interviews. These interviews can be for many companies, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and tons of others. The common topic for all these companies is the questions are usually the same. Yes, of course, sometimes the language is a little bit different. Sometimes some points are here and there. But ultimately, if you have an idea of these all questions, which are pretty common, you can definitely crack down these interviews. I'm not saying these are just like the exact question that will be appearing, but definitely these questions will help you to nail down these interviews. So I want to create an entire resource through the Saturday Coding Challenge that can be helpful for absolute beginner, for intermediate and for a little bit advanced user as well. I want a collection of all of that. With this Saturday Coding Challenge, if I'm going to be just throwing up random questions here and there, then obviously the people who are already advanced for these kinds of questions will get a lot of benefit. But what about all those users who are just getting started in these kinds of challenges? The last Saturday Coding Challenge was just a test, a test to understand what kind of audience I am having and what kind of people are having interest in these Saturday Coding Challenges. I literally sat down and spent my entire two days in going through each and every solution that were submitted on last Saturday Coding Challenge. What I found out with that Saturday Coding Challenge was either people are extremely advanced and they are able to nail down this particular question very easily, or there are people who are not even able to understand the question. There is no intermediate here. So this comes up and brings up our action plan for Saturday Coding Challenge. Now the action plan for this Saturday Coding Challenge is really simple. I want you to prepare for upcoming interviews, whether that's Google, Amazon, Microsoft or whatever that is. And we are going to prepare 50 questions for those interviews. Once you understand the basics of these 50 questions, you will be able to understand the data structures and what kind of questions are being answered in these kinds of interview and what is actually the way how you should be answering. These 50 questions will be divided into a variety of zones uh, known as easy, medium, hard and some extreme hard as well. Now, I totally understand that anything that says easy or hard is totally a relative term. For you, iOS development might be a little bit tough. For me, it might be a piece of cake. For me, Node.js might be tough. For you, it might be a piece of cake. So I totally understand that easy and hard is a relative term. But just based on what I have taught so far and experience of that, I have divided these questions into easy, medium, hard and intense categories. So there are 10 to 12 questions which are categorized as easy, 12 to 15 questions which are medium and around 20 questions which are categorized as hard and rest are pretty hard as well. So from very this Saturday, we're going to start with the easy challenges and I'm going to lower down the intensity of these questions a little bit. Now again, rest of these things are going to remain same. There is going to be a prize money for each and every challenge and all of these challenges will be curated and post absolutely for free on my website so that we can have a proper collection of these challenges so that anybody can learn from it and it is reusable. If you're watching these challenges and want to take part in that, there is absolutely no fees. There is only just one thing that I'm focusing is 
there should be correct answer for the question that I'm asking and it should have an amazing explanation. I am giving highest weightage to the amazing explanation and I am looking forward all of you to participate and bring up your friends on the Saturday Coding Challenge. So let's start the Saturday Coding Challenge with 50 questions as a goal and hopefully we're gonna nail it down by the end of these challenges. So take part in these coding challenges, bring up your friends and now we're gonna get started with these Saturday Coding Challenges and we'll bring beginners to the advanced level so that all of us can prepare together for the upcoming interviews. And make sure you share this video so that more people can participate in these challenges and I can bring up more amazing prizes and goodies for all of you. So let's get started with Saturday Coding Challenges. And again, challenges in the next video.